Knowing the benefits, you can conclude that adding this exercise to your routine, it will be quite a good idea, but only and when you are able to execute it correctly. And today I will spend time showing you the do's and the don'ts when squatting. Hi there, I'm Plamen and you are with Project How To, a channel where you can learn how to do something new from zero. The focus of this channel will be on fitness, nutrition and healthy lifestyle. With my passion for training, cooking and creating things, combined with my experience as a qualified personal trainer and a gymnastics coach with bachelor's degree in sports, I will bring the best of me so I can help you learn how to do the things that I already know. Squats. That is the topic today and I will mention just some of the scientifically proven benefits of this exercise when executed correctly. Lose weight, increase range of motion, promote balance and of course build strength and muscle. Now knowing the benefits you can conclude that adding this exercise to your routine it will be quite a good idea but only and when you are able to execute it correctly and today I will spend time showing you the do's and the don'ts when squatting. I will also give you a tip if you are struggling with the execution of the squat on how to make it easier for yourselves and what to do in terms to do it better. Even though we are doing the squats without a weight, the things that I'm about to mention, the things that you need to remember, they apply for the squats when you're doing it with a weight bar. And now I will go through those essential rules that must be remembered when performing a squat. I'll start with the do's first, what to do when you're performing a squat. And first one will be the stance. So you're gonna put your feet just slightly wider than shoulder width apart, that's it, like this. And you're gonna make sure you have your feet planted on the floor throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole range of uh, the squat. Next thing to do is get your toes pointed slightly outwards. Although if you have them uh, pointed forwards, it is not wrong. That just means you have greater uh, range of motion in your joints, in your hips, in your ankles than most of the people. But ideally, you want them slightly out and that is how you're gonna perform the squat. The next thing is where you look at. You need to find a point in front of you and look at that point throughout the whole duration of the squat. So you're gonna look at that point when you're going down and when you're going up. Now, the next thing, we're gonna twerk. Can it work? Okay, I'm just joking. I was trying to make a joke here. I don't know how successful that was, but what we're going to do is to try and stick your bottoms backwards as if you want to sit on a chair. So you're gonna go back and then you're gonna go up. And the last thing that I'm gonna mention for the do's is to keep your knees in line with your feet when you're squatting. So you're gonna squat and go up, making sure the knees are in line with the toes. And that was for the do's. Let's go to the don'ts, what you should not be doing when you're squatting. First one, try not to cave your knees in. So make sure, again, as we uh, mentioned earlier, knees stay in line with the toes. Second thing, don't look up at the ceiling when you're doing a squat. There is nothing happening there. The ceiling is gonna stay there. Also, don't look down at the floor. Your toes are gonna be there. Your feet are not gonna run away without you. Make sure, find that point in front of you and keep on looking at that point whilst you're going down and up. Keep on looking at that point. And another important thing is do not lean forwards when you're squatting. You can still be looking at the point in front of you, but if you do that, this is wrong. This is not a squat. You need to make sure you keep your shoulders up 
and bottom back, lean, uh, squat down, and then go up. Another don'ts is the first one. If you feel any pain in your joints, do not perform a squat. Probably that's not the exercise for you. And the next thing, if you start doing weighted squats, if you start doing the squats with a bar, don't put too much weight too early. Make sure you have the shape and the form of the squat correctly and then start adding weight slowly, slowly. Okay, now, before, you, uh, before you're about to perform a squat, especially with a weight, I would suggest go and consult with a competent professional that can assess your shape of the squat, the way that you're performing the squat and they will advise you whether that is good for you or not. And now let's go to the two tips that I'm gonna give you if you struggle with a squat. We're gonna take two books. Are these the same height? Yeah, they're the same height. So I'm gonna have the two books on the floor. What I'm gonna do, most people, they struggle. When they squat, they tend to lift their heels off the floor. That's because they have very tight Achilles and tight calves. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna keep your shoulders up, you can still have your heels on the floor and you're gonna do the squat here. What is important to have that um, balance, to have that support under your feet. So we're gonna go down and up. And this way, if you struggle, if you feel yourself that you need to lift your heels off the floor whilst you're performing a squat, this is the way to do it and perform it correctly. Okay. Let's leave the books back here. And that, that next tip is for those ones who have problem, who are not strong enough, who, uh, that their legs are not strong enough to execute the squat. So you're gonna have a chair and you're gonna go in front of the chair. Again, same rules apply. Your feet are gonna be slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outwards. You can bring your arms in front of you and you're gonna squat until you go to the chair and then go up. Squat until you go to the chair and go up. When this one becomes easy, you can find something lower that you can squat onto. And that's how you're gonna and that's how you're gonna build the strength in your legs needed to be able to squat without the support of a chair or something else. I hope you found my video helpful today. And if you think that the squats are not the exercise for you, in one of my next videos, I'm gonna give you alternative exercises that will help you build your strength and muscles. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That will really motivate me to keep uploading more videos subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Squats, that is the topic today. And where was the chair? Somewhere here. I am Plamen and I am a qualified personal trainer as well as gymnastics coach. I have bachelor degree in sports as well as many more qualifications related to sports. I will help you develop your strength, better range of motion and control of your body.